Hey guys, and welcome back to the Paleo Fox. As you can see, I'm back in my kitchen, but it's okay. We make it work. I'm going to show you one of Kevin's absolute 100% favorite meals in the, in the entire world. I ask him what he wants for dinner, and 10 times out of 10, he says, chili. I'm going to show you how to make bison chili. This recipe comes to me via Mark Sisson from Mark's Daily Apple, who, if you're not familiar with, is like the paleo god. I mean, it goes Rob Wolf, Mark Sisson, in my opinion. He's great. Um, this is a fantastic recipe, and I'm going to show you what all we're going to need. As always, I'll post the recipe down below for you to look at. Okay, so for this recipe, we're obviously using ground bison. Yes, you can use ground beef if you so choose. That's perfectly okay. I just really love the taste of bison. We are also using four strips of bacon that I've already cut up and put in the pan because I decided to film this last minute. I'm using an onion that's also cut up and in the pan. Four garlic cloves. Then we're using oregano, paprika, chili powder, apple cider vinegar, high fat cocoa powder, unsweetened please. And we're also using beef broth. Oh, two carrots, forgot. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna lay the bacon in the pot and let it cook. As you can see, I do not have bacon in here because I don't have bacon in my house, I know. But I do have bacon fat, which is what my onions are sauteing in. So we're going to let those onions saute just for a little bit until they're nice and tender. And then we're going to add that garlic. Oh, one more thing. Sorry, I forgot. Um, you're also going to want a 14 and a half ounce of diced tomatoes. You could also use um, chopped tomatoes that have been seeded. Remember, I'm lazy. Okay, now that the onions have been sautéing for a while, they're good and tender, I'm going to add that garlic. Give it a nice stir. And I'm going to add my two pounds of bison. Break it up a bit. And we're going to let that brown. It's just like browning beef for, I don't know, like say spaghetti. Make sure there's no pink throughout. And then you're going to add your tomatoes. Beef broth or water, which is what you can also use. Carrots. And spices. Two tablespoons of chili powder. Oh god, that's paprika. One teaspoon of dried oregano. And a teaspoon of paprika, but I just put a tablespoon in. Give it a stir. And we're gonna turn that heat down to low. Put a lid on it. And let it simmer for an hour. Coming back every 20 minutes or so to stir the pot. After about an hour, this is how your chili should look. So now we're going to add <clears throat> a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Don't look at me like I'm crazy. I'm serious. This is amazing. It really brings the flavors together. So just a tablespoon. And we're also going to put in a tablespoon of the cocoa powder. If you've never heard of adding cocoa powder to chili, then make this and it'll blow your mind. So give it a really good stir. The cocoa powder gives it a really nice dark um, look. Oh, it's just divine. So take the lid off of that and we're going to let it simmer longer for about 20 more minutes. Okay. After about 20 minutes or so, you're going to want to season it with salt and pepper. Um, no exact measurements, just however you feel like it should taste. Super 
super good. Mmm. That's really good. Um, you could add like some avocados, slice on top some cilantro. It tastes really good like that. You can even add some more um, diced tomatoes. Uh, it's super, super hearty. So I never really make any sides with it. I just eat this. I might put some lettuce and do like a little salad thing to it, but other than that, it's good. If you're doing cheese, if you're doing dairy, a bit of feta crumbled on top is really good too, and so is some blue cheese. That's it for me today. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this recipe. I put out new videos every single Sunday. Uh, share to your friends. Follow me on Twitter. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys want me to make next. Do you guys want a dessert? Do you want more dinner? Do you want sides? Do you want more cleaning? Do you guys want me to show you how I make my herbal medicinal throat gargle? I don't know. You tell me. Let me know and uh, we'll see. I might make it for you. Thanks for watching.